Well, the water's fantastically clear. You can see here, um, we've got a little bit of summer back for once, which is good. So I'm back on the lure rods uh, and we're gonna try for the bass. Came down the other night and got a couple. Uh, we'll take a look at those in a minute. There's a lot of bait fish in the water. Just trying to figure out the best way to replicate them. Is our first bass of the day a mackerel? <laughs> yeah, and it's foul hooked as well. So the mackerel are in here in massive numbers. You can see them breaking the surface. Uh, to say there's a lot of white bait in the water is an understatement. Even the surface lures are picking them up. Okay, so what's happening here then? <laughs> the sea is absolutely alive with white bait. <clears throat> That's that black stuff there. And they've been hounded into this little bit of rock here by the mackerel. So what I've got to try and do is get through the mackerel to the bass. It's very hard. There's such a rich source of food here for them. It's hard to know what to do. So I'm actually going to So I think what I'll do is now swap over to this little mackerel imitation, this hard plastic here, because uh, there's so much white bait in the water. What I'm hoping is that the bass that follow the mackerel shoals around uh, will be picking out mackerel as well. And this looks like a small joey mackerel. If I retrieve this on the edge of the shoal, um, I'm hoping the bass will mistake that for an injured mackerel. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> Let's see if it works.
I'm doing a bit of chopping and changing with the lures. Uh, this is the do live. These are the six inch ones um, with those twist look, lock hooks on there as well. The only problem with these is once they do get a couple of knocks against the rock or a bass like we just had, uh, twisting them back on is yeah, it's just worn it out. But they're relatively cheap. We'll put a new one on. I'll let these do lives just sort of sink. I'll use them weightless as well, give them a little bit of a flick. worth getting behind cover sometimes because you obviously your body casts a bit of a shadow particularly when the sun's behind you definitely worth retrieving the lure whatever the lure is right the way in in these conditions be amazed how bass will take the lure right right in the surf just below uh, just below me here Another change of lure. I'm going to give this one a go. This is the Shimano Cotton Candy a 90 gram one. This casts like an absolute bullet. It's really good at accurate casting. Uh, there is always a chance, of course, picking up mackerel with this, which we don't particularly want, but it's not a bad second fish on the light tackle today. Uh, this might replicate those uh, white bait that we're seeing in the water. I'm seeing fish just under the surface here. I've just missed one. Just sort of reposition myself, trying to keep as low as possible. And just have another little knock. Don't know how many times I can do it without them being spooked now. Greedy little mackerel, it's gone for the plug. So after the bass it was time uh, later in the day, moved to a different mark just to get in amongst the mackerel. Uh, every year the mackerel will shoal up but uh, this year has just been ridiculous. This is the end of August now, this bank holiday and it was just mackerel after mackerel after mackerel. I try and stay away from the old six hook feathers, um, it's not very sporting. Uh, No, not too bad, at least I've caught a couple of bass on the lure. Uh, it'd been a little while, hadn't been the best of summers, but things will pick up now. And as you can see, uh, just had a little bit of fun later in the day, uh, moved to a different location, 
and just getting into these mackerel they're here in just such huge numbers uh, there were some really big ones coming out as well I try and use single hooks or single lures at least for the mackerel uh, makes it a little bit more sporting and they are a magnificent fighting fish these so much more fun on lighter tackle and I do try and stay away from those strings of feathers if I can I was also surprised about how um, I was catching them into darkness as well. So if you haven't already subscribed, I'd uh, love you to subscribe as well. Come and join us on our community forum. Uh, it's quite active over there. Lots of good hints and tips. As I say, we're all learning about angling as we go and even more experienced anglers will still pick up tips all the time from other people so uh, I hope you'll join us and subscribe and hopefully we'll be getting into some more bass as well as the season rolls on so I'd love to know how you fish for mackerel and if you've got into these vast shoals along the south coast as well uh, please leave a comment and I'd love you to subscribe thanks for watching <laughs>